Hey, it is December 30th, 2023. I think it's about 1450 EST, something like that. And believe it or not, we are in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And as you can see, there's no snow. So that's why we're here doing this. We have been up and down the road and stuff and just taking some samples from the road and looking around trying to see what we can see. But I picked here, because you see this here, it's big cliff. Now, the bedrock here is also the basement rock. The stuff along this road here, Huron Bay Grade Road, I believe is what it's called, is mostly Archean granitoids. There's gneisses and migmatites and stuff like that. And the great thing about this is although a train used to go through here and people have prospected through here over the years, no one's ever really studied these rocks. You look on any geologic map and it'll just say like the Huron Mountains. There's a one or two from the 60s or 70s, I think, that are hand drawn that do a little bit of detail. But the vast majority of this whole area has never been studied from a scientific standpoint. We just know the rocks are Archean. But over there on the road and a couple places along the road, I physically took some samples so we can get some zircons from this stuff and see if we can get a crystallization date, some metamorphic date, stuff like that from that stuff. And you look at this rock and it varies. I mean, if you don't know what you're looking at, you're gonna pick it up, you're gonna see pink, whitish and some dark gray or black sparkly rock. Now, the thing is, there's probably many different plutons here. I don't think, I've never seen any direct evidence of faulting in any outcrop. I'm sure there's some here, but they're probably more like mesoproterozoic or paleoproterozoic, or even late mesoproterozoic faults related to the mid-continent rift, but I haven't seen any Keweenaw dikes in any of this stuff either. Now, this stuff is probably several plutons, if not maybe a dozen or so. No one's ever bothered to differentiate them. Hopefully from the zircons, we'll be able to do some of that. But like I said, from a geologic scientific standpoint, nobody has really done anything with this. Like I said, it's been mining, people coming looking for greenstone, trying to find gold and stuff like that. But I haven't seen any greenstones here. Greenstones are commonly associated with these rocks. Now, a lot of these rocks here, I've noticed, don't have a lot of quartz in them, if any. So I'm not wondering if there's feldspathoids in a lot of these. So I'm gonna, not this rock, I'm leaving this here, but this is just big enough for you to see. I'm going to, I took some samples back. I have some from a month or so ago or two months ago. And, you know, I gotta look at it under hand lens and see how different they really are. So there's a lot of feldspars in here, pinks and whites, but quartz is a little bit elusive. And this rock here, this might actually be quartz, just a weathered face of it right there. So I just want to look at that real quick, I think. Take a look at it just to see if you can uh, see what uh, type of, it, a lot of the stuff's pegmatitic too. Big crystals, big crystals. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you this because I think if anyone ever wants to do any sort of research or some sort of thesis or something like that, this whole area is basically virgin territory. The Archean is very poorly understood here. Very poorly understood. Anyway, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I hope you learned something.